Hello and welcome to another video. On this video, I'm going to show you how you can add uh, a section, a very simple section, but the idea is to, to get you started on security, uh, membership, and roles. So to get started, I'm using the same template that I've been using for the last two videos. So this is the same template. That I'm using so the idea is that on this drop down let's pretend there's a member section when you click on members it, it's the website is going to ask you to log in you need to be a member and authenticate it so this is one way you can protect uh, some pages that you may have so how do you protect any link or any specific uh, page that you want is really easy and what you're gonna need to do is in this case I'm using the home controller and as you can see here at this section I have added this attribute authorize and I added that I want only people that belong to this role so I only want people or users that belong to the members role so now if you if you want everybody to to view the page as long as they register and log in then just make it authorized but in my case i only want people in the members uh, role so the next thing you need to do is that you need to enable the roles feature so you need to go to the web config and scroll down to role manager and just add this property here enable equals true if you if you don't do this section you're gonna get an error so this is what you need to do before you start playing with the roles enable it once you have that done um, I'm basically gonna do so basically this section of the website is gonna be secure only for members and I'm gonna show you how you can add as you can see here how you can create a role and how you can add uses to the role so let me show you the about where you create the role so here I have pretty basic you have a HTML begin form since we're using the about uh, view, once you click submit, it's going to hit this action here, this HTTP post, because we're posting. And MVC is really smart, so it's going to pull the role name, which is the input text box, uh, the text box with name, role name. So once we submit this entire form, the controller is going to look for this. Uh, value and it's going to pass it on and we're going to add it as you can see here I'm uh, we're using this roles namespace this class and it's coming from the web that's security so that should be pretty simple for anybody and the same thing for adding a user to our role you pass the user and in this case we're hard coding the members of the role but you can also pass it on. Uh, yes, change. Whatever. Okay. Now, once you add it, it goes back. In this case, I'm returning the about view. I'm using the same about page, just a different form down here. In this case, I'm passing. Uh, you see the difference in the begin form. Here, I'm just not passing any arguments in this case I'm passing the at user role this is the action you don't have to but I think it will be much better for the controller to know what you're trying to do and the controller here so at user role is this action this action in your home controller so this way you know that you can this is more specific on what you're trying to do and in here once I submit this entire form, the controller is going to use or find the user. 
in this argument and pass it on and we're going to create the row or add the user to the row so we're going to show you i'm going to run it i'm going to start from scratch uh, i'm going to create a new logon i don't have i'm going to create a new one let's make up something Okay, register we're registered now because we your name is up here and then the logo uh, link is on so that means that we will register now let's pretend we're going to the member section as you can see it's kicking us back to the logon because we don't belong to that membership so what you need to do is now go to create roles right here on the right this one is going to hit the about page because that's the view that i'm using and here you can see the role name this is where you can create a roles now i already did the members ahead of time so i'm not going to use this one but if you you can create roles here now i'm going to add this user to the members remember that this is hard coded so it's going to go to members okay we're back we got no errors so now this youtube one user should be in the members now if i click it scroll down now we can see that that user is in the members we have this page so you can pretend that this is something you don't want everybody to see so that's it really easy um to create roles obviously you can create more roles in this uh, portion of it but that's how the code works it's very really basic and gives you an idea how you can start adding roles uh, users to the roles and manage your views i'll be putting this code in github so you can download it at any time i'll provide the link or details on the next video Thank you for watching.